In today's video, I will show you how I created a senior board from a $1 thrift store find, which was a wooden frame. I added a few accessories to the wooden frame to make it my own and make it unique for my senior. This is a great decorating idea for a graduation party or a senior night or possibly a poster board display at school. Stick around to see the finished product as well as the other senior boards on display that evening. My name is Sandra, also known as Piece of Scrap on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, and Amazon. As an online reseller, I purchase low cost items to flip them for a higher profit online. In doing so, I found this wooden frame for $1 at a local church thrift shop. Knowing that it was a rustic farm country slash home decor item, I thought it would be perfect in our new home. I hung it on the wall in the hallway for a while, and then my son needed a senior board for high school. The frame was a perfect start. The supplies needed to create this unique senior board include a wooden frame. You can purchase those. I would check the thrift stores or Goodwill. If you find nothing there, then go ahead and look at Walmart or a low-end retail store, perhaps Dollar Tree, something like that. You'll want to take the glass out of it if it comes with a glass, so you can place chicken wire behind it. You will need mini clothespins, also available at Walmart. Several printed photos, family pictures, baby pictures, high school pictures, professional photos of your senior. I used a black foam board in the center for his name and graduation year. You will need a pair of scissors, glue, scrapbook paper of your choice. Again, my son just wanted white paper for his name, so we just used white. I think a patterned paper would look perfect in this spot as well. I strung twine across the chicken wire to hold the pictures and then you also need a pencil to do the stenciling for the name and graduation year. I will post this supply list in the description below along with a link to Rakuten which is what I use to shop through Walmart. If you haven't already signed up for Rakuten, you can earn $20. I also will receive $20, so do not feel obligated to go through Rakuten, but it's free money, right? So why not? Without further ado, I will go ahead and show you how I created this unique poster board for my graduating senior. We started with the empty wooden frame. We purchased some chicken wire at Home Depot. We stretched the chicken wire across the back of the frame and stapled it, pulling it tight and stapling it on the other end as well. From there, we added the black foam board to the center. We punched holes in the foam board in the corner and tied it with wire to the chicken wire. You could freehand the lettering. My handwriting is not the best, so I always go to my computer and print stencils. Um, the easiest way to do that is to go into Word and spell out your words that you want to have put on the sign. In this case, it would be my son's name, Zach, and then his graduation year of 2021. Here I am just tracing. I blew up a Word document of script MT bold to 300 point to get the graduation year. I traced out 201 knowing that I could reuse the 2 when I cut it out. Again, my, my font is script MT bold at 300 point. His name is the same script font in 500. Point. So I just trace those from my computer screen onto a white piece of paper. Here are the letters that I traced from the computer. I will then cut each of these letters out and trace them onto the cardstock that my son chose, which was plain white. 
Again, a patterned cardstock would look just as good, if not better, on the black foam board. I used two pieces of cardstock to trace the letters on. The cardstock was 12 by 12 that I purchased at Joanne Fabrics. I traced the letters on in reverse so the pencil marks would be on the back side, the side that would be glued down. I cut out the letters and then taped them to the black foam board before I actually glued them down. I strung four pieces of twine along the back, one across the very top piece of wood, one along the bottom, and then two across the center, going behind the black foam board. To complete the graduating senior high school board, I started adding photos, including baby pictures, family pictures, as well as grade and high school pictures. I arranged them on the twine using mini clothespins. Our completed basketball senior board looked like this. We chose not to add lights on it as we thought we had enough to decorate the board. There are other athletic boards on display both for boys and girls. There were four graduating senior girls basketball players with boards. Three of the four chose to use palette boards covered with photos, lights, and streamers. There was one that had a collaged picture frame, which was also very cool. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to create a senior graduating board from a $1 thrift store find. If so, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, which tells me I should continue to make thrift haul videos for you guys to enjoy. Out of all the senior boards, comment below and let me know which one was your favorite. Is there anything that you would have done differently with the chicken wire board? These senior boards can also be used as graduation party decorations. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video and continue watching. I have linked the Thrift With Me playlist below so you can see what other fabulous finds I have found at my local Goodwill to repurpose and to resell on eBay and similar sites to make money working from home.